Okay, so with the last Korean update, the new Monster Research system has been added. It's pretty simple, but I'll still try to explain some of the thingies that are happening with it. So, what it is, is basically, as you can see, there are a lot of units. It only goes for nat 5s currently. I'm not sure, maybe they will expand it in the future, but for now it's nat 5s only. Uh, you can see pretty much every single nat 5 family in here. And how this system works is essentially, uh, there are five different requirements, and for each requirement that you meet, uh, you will get stats to your monsters. Uh, the stats you are getting, you will see right here. So, for example, currently my Vampire Hunter has level 0 uh, buffs, and once they reach level 1 research, they will receive the following. 37 attack, 31 defense, 438 HP. Now, these stats apply to every single vampire hunter what you need for quests is only the fire water and wind ones however the stats apply to all five of them including light and dark vampire hunters and the same goes for every single unit so the stats themselves are uh, they have six different tiers so again these stats uh, will be based on the type of a unit so uh, some of the units, like different elements, have different types, so for those it's usually determined by the one uh, that has the most of that type in the family. So let's say something like a Dragon Knight will usually be uh, a Knight type rather than, or I mean a Warrior type rather than like a Knight type, where I think only one of them is like a Knight type. So it depends on what type the unit is, for example, warriors, like uh, all five of these are warriors, so they will 100% be getting warrior stats, and for warriors, uh, as you can see, HP is more prioritized over any other stats. For something like a phoenix, I believe these ones, uh, they will either be a mage or an archer, right? So I'll show you the stats of all of the monsters. You can see it yourself. As you can see, like uh, these are guaranteed archers. They have very, very similar stats to mages. Uh, mages only have five less HP. The rest of the stats are the same. Fairy queens, I believe, are supports. Uh, then we have a dragon, which is also a mage, it looks like. Warriors, uh, these are probably archers. These are the knight stats, so very low attack but very high defense and high hp uh then we have these ones the twins uh warrior again these most likely look like made no archers possibly archers also archers these look like warrior stats as well definitely not assassin stats uh so yeah knights again these are the assassin stats it looks like so 35 attack 32 defense 443 sort of balanced uh but yeah uh this one is already at level 4 so i'll explain a bit about that in just a second these are the level ones and as you can see they increase by the same exact amount that you got from the first uh, level right but yeah just showing the rest of the stats you can pause at any moment to see uh the stats for any unit that you wish but yeah uh just quickly gonna finish out all of the stats right Archangels, Pioneers, Chimeras, and Monkey Kings. Now, so, for the quests themselves, there are five quests in total, and the quest you need to meet will always be shown right here. So, the first quest will be to have the monsters at all. And once you have all three of these summoned, you will be able to get the first bonus, which is the level one, right? Once you just research, as you can see, all five of them will get these bonuses. On average, uh, if you really care about the power number, I found that level 1 bonus will give you around like 900 to 1000 power. So, uh, by maxing it out fully, you are looking at around 5000 power for any of the units that you maxed out. And now, as you can see, at level 1, uh, the next level requirement is Awakening Monsters to level 5. And once you reach level 2... Uh, the stats that you get from level 1 will double exactly. Well, except for defense. I don't know why it's one lower defense. Uh, but yeah, uh, from 37 attack to 74, from 31 to 61 defense, and HP to 876. So, uh, level 2 will be awakening monsters to level 5. Level 3 will be leveling them all up to level 80. Uh, again, pretty easy to do as long as you have the monster. You will reach level 3 without any issues. 
Level 4 is where it gets a little bit more expensive and that is where I stopped for my vampires at least. And that is providing 10 skill ups to all of these units. So this is the 5th level quest. But the level 4 quest is essentially all 3 units will need to have at least 10 skill ups. Whether it's devil mons, whether it's uh, duplicate pieces, that's up to you. But once all 3 units have 10 devil mon pieces, you can obtain the level 4 buff. And for the level 5 buff, you will need to awaken them to level 15. Which means, yes, you will need, on top of skilling them up 10 times, you will also need to... Uh, have five dupes of this unit because you need 100 pieces and at maximum level for example for archers as you can see the stats are definitely no joke it's like a whole another artifact 184 attack 153 defense and over 2000 hp and yeah for the stats themselves as you can see they go in the same increments from level 1 all the way up to level 5 like uh vampires are archer type like they get archer bonus and if you look at something like a level one bonus 37 attack you multiply that by five and you'll pretty much get a similar value to the level five research the same way for defense uh we take 31 and we end up with 153 which is sort of close it's like two defense below exactly multiplying by five and yeah for hp it's the same 48 you take that, times it by 5, and you get close to 2200 HP. That's how it works. Now, uh, if you're wondering whether you can uh, meet the requirements and then later reset the unit, uh, we'll actually test that out because it is something I haven't tried to do. But the previous requirement required your vampires to have 10 skill ups each. And as you can see right now, I have 10 skill ups into each vampire. My argon is already maxed. Uh, but for the other ones, I haven't skilled them up fully. As you can see, both of them only have 10 Devil Mons put into them. So we're going to try to reset them and we'll see whether the buff remains, right? Uh, we reset them. We go to the book and let's check it out. Yeah, so it looks like it resets. It resets. As you can see, my vampires are back to level 1, which means that you must keep your units at that research level. Uh, so basically, if you reset a unit, it will drop to level 1 because it's, it's no longer awakened to 5. It's no longer level 80 and it no longer has 10 skill ups. So, in order to keep this bonus, you need to meet all of those bonuses consistently. Uh, otherwise, you will not get uh, the increased stats. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of the new research system. Uh, this one is coming out to our server next week. I believe they mentioned it in the developer's note. Uh, that the last week will also have this stat increasing system so we will no longer need to wait three weeks for it it's coming out to us the next system so next week i mean so if you want to prep for a specific unit feel free to do so you will need to awaken to five level 80 uh 10 devil mons into each of them and awakening level 15 for with a maximum bonus and yeah that's about it and peace